Okay, in unit eight, lesson three, we're doing uh, linear equalities in two variables, not using technology. Um, so, I mean, just a quick review. When you read left to right, okay, this is less than, less than equal to, greater and greater equal to. Okay, and this is just not equal. Now, the way we would say this is 4a minus 1 is greater than 7. Or 1 minus 2a is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so we're saying what variables can be put on the left to make it either less than or equal to 5. Okay, let's go to the next page. Um, now, here we're going to be doing two variables. Now, the easiest way to do these is get it so it's y on the left. Okay, and you'll see as I go through this. Now, we'll always have boundary lines when you draw a line. Okay, that's going to be the difference between what you're going to shade and what you're not going to shade. The line you draw will be either solid, okay, a solid line, or a broken line. A broken or dotted line is when you just say greater than or less than. A solid line is when you say greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to. Okay? Now, um, let's go right down to here, and I'm going to show you how to do these. Now, this says y is greater than x. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to draw the line y equals x. Okay? Now, the line y equals x would be this line right here, okay, y equals x. Now, I'm using a dotted line now because I'm doing y is greater than x. Greater than will always mean shade on top of line, okay, on top of. So this is all the y's, okay, when y is greater than x. Okay? Now, a is almost so simple that it's confusing. Let's do b. b says 3x minus 2y is less than or equal to negative 6. Okay? Well, let's get this so it's y equals. Let's just write it on the side here. 3x minus 2y is less than or equal to negative 6. Okay? First thing I'm going to do is minus 3x. Minus 3x. So, negative 2y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 6. Okay, now this one's a good one because you have to divide by negative 2. Now if you do ever divide by a negative, you have to reverse the sign. So that would be y is greater or equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. Okay, now graphing these without a calculator, you need to. Oh, that would be plus three. Divided by negative two. I need to um, look first at my y-intercept. My y-intercept is three, right? So three, right there, and. I am going up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2, and that gets me my other point. Another way to do it is also to find your x-intercept, and I can do that by making y equals 0, but this gives me enough of a line. Now, see how this is greater or equal to? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a solid line Okay, that goes through these points. And see it says y is greater than? If it says greater than, you shade above. Okay? Or on top of. You shade above. Okay? Now again, that's when you get y on the left. You can just always shade above. Okay? Let's keep on going here. Wrap this without using a calculator. Y is less than 3 fourths x plus 3. Okay? So we know the y-intercept is 3. 
we know that the slope is to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 4. So that would be 6, 4, right? Now, since it's just going to be a less than now, I'm going to use a dotted line. So I got a dotted line there. And it says less than. Now less than I would shade below. Okay. This would be the below. Okay, it's just that simple. Now, next one says find the equation of this one. Now it goes through the intercepts negative two zero, so this is negative two zero and zero four. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can go find the slope, or you can use y equals m x plus b. Uh, we know b is four, so y equals m x plus four. Now we also know the point two zero, so zero equals m times negative 2 plus 4. Okay, so now let's go solve for m. I will subtract 4 to both sides. Negative 4 equals negative 2m divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2. That would be 2 equals m. So the equation of the line would be y equals 2x plus 4. Now, since this is an inequality, as you can see, we're going to talk about what's going on in the inequality. Now, first of all, we have a solid line. So it's going to be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Because it's below, I'm going to say that y is less than or equal to 2x plus 4. Okay? And the assignment is 1 to 9.